Hi YouTube, um, this is part three of my video series about um, how my recovery is going from my left-sided inguinal hernia operation which I had done on the 11th of June 2013. It's now the 26th of June 2013, so it's exactly 15 days after the operation. Um, it was done under general anaesthetic, open surgery and repaired with a mesh for an indirect inguinal hernia. Um, yeah, um, as some of you might know if you watched my previous videos, um, I went for a stag weekend in Mallorca uh, last weekend. <laughs> Not my stag do, a mate of mine's. Uh, yeah, so we all went over to Mallorca for a lively weekend. <laughs> Uh, and considering it was only 10 days after my operation when we went, um, it held up really well. Um, I wasn't in any pain really. Uh, just a little bit of discomfort if uh, walking fast. And uh, in Magaluf in Mallorca it's quite hilly there as well. So it was just a little bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable going up and down steep hills or walking at a uh, sort of quicker sort of pace. But other than that, it held up really well. And I did lots of walking around all day and all night and um, I've never really suffered any pain at all. Um, still had a little bit of um, uncomfortableness getting in and out of bed. That, that's been the worst part of, of this whole recovery, is getting in and out of bed. But it's finally, um, I'd say in the last two days, I'm not even any discomfort with that anymore. In fact, today I feel perfect. I, feel, I, mean, I don't even feel like I've had a hernia. So uh, the only thing I can't do at the minute is lift anything of any sort of weight. And that's uh, mainly because of the tightness where the incision is. Obviously, if you lift anything up, it you can feel it pull there, you know. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to go start carrying massive bags from the supermarket and uh, stuff like that. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I know when to uh, where to draw the line. But for all of the normal daily activities, perfect now after 15 days. Uh, if you had a normal job sitting in an office or you worked in a factory and you didn't have to do lifting, you could easily go back to work now after two weeks. Um, if you have a, a job like me, I mean, I, I um, uh, do up houses for a living, so um, there's obviously a lot of heavy lifting involved in the work I do. That's probably what caused my hernia in the first place. I won't be going uh, back to work probably for another two or three weeks yet. But um, for normal daily activities, I'm out and about driving the car, um, everything fine. Uh, a couple of messages on my previous videos from some of you guys out there having the same surgery or have had it done and um, people seem to be worried about ones who've recently had it done the level of pain in the first couple of days and that just is normal I mean everybody I've spoke to has had it done the pain in the first couple of days is quite severe and uh, yeah you don't tend to expect it you think our oh, hernia operation is the most carried out operation in the world there's more hernia operations than, than any other operation in the world. Uh, so you just think, ah, oh, this is a routine operation, in, bam, bam, couple of days out, sorted, couple of painkillers, I'll be fine. But no, <laughs> the pain's quite major the first couple of days. And um, yeah, a lot of people have commented on about the testicle swelling and um, testicle tends to swell up on the side that you've had the hernia done. So I had a left-sided hernia, my left testicle swell up. If you've had a double hernia, um, it's probably likely that they'll both swell up. It's completely normal, as long as they don't keep on swelling and swelling and swelling and swelling. If they, if they swell up um, any time from after having the operation up until about two or three days after the op, if they're still swelling, if, st if the swelling's still getting bigger a couple of days after the op, I'd either call your doc or book an appointment to go and see him. Uh, um, but uh, within the first couple of days swelling and quite big swelling like I mentioned before mine swelled up to about the size of a cricket ball or or baseball if you don't know about cricket if you're in the United States um, it's quite big you know so it can swell up to about that big one of them so and it's quite scary when you when you notice it for the first time you, you, you tend to think that don't look normal but apparently it is normal well my swelling has uh, started to go down um, it's not totally back to normal size yet, but it's it has reduced significantly, you know, noticeably. And obviously it's more comfortable uh, now. Um, I, I can't complain about my recovery at all. I suppose it's gone, it's a textbook reco recovery that I'm having. Um, I went and had my stitches out the day before I went to Mallorca. 
uh, the nurse there took the stitches out, checked the wound out, um, did a lot of pressing around down there. Um, I asked about the swelling of the testicles, she's perfectly normal. She didn't even want to have a look at it, so well, I suppose she's, it's, they're that used to it that they don't even look. So uh, she just took the stitches out, checked around the wound area, uh, made sure it was healing up okay. Um, but the wound's been fine right from day one, that, that sealed up nicely. I've had no weeping from there, no nothing, dried up. And um, and only two weeks on, the scar looks really good. Um, still a bit of bruising around there. Um, yeah, you, you you get quite a bit of bruising, a lot of purpley colour. That's another thing that happens to your testicle as well. It it was quite likely to go a purpley colour as well with the swelling. And the only reason I keep mentioning that is that is a lot of people tend to worry, like I did, when you look down there and you see it's all purple and the size of a cricket ball. It, it's worrying. So I'm just saying this to any of you guys who've had recent surgery or are going to have it and you might notice this, it's to put your mind at rest, it's, it's totally normal. The only thing I'd say is, is if it's still swelling after a few days, um, get advice from your doctor. But in the first couple of days it's definitely normal. And like I say, two weeks in now and uh, mine's gone down. I've been told that um, boxer shorts are not, are not the best thing to wear after this you you want something that's going to hold everything up firmly you can buy uh, proper um, scrotum support underpants but I think if you just buy a, a normal tight pair of briefs or a few tight pairs of briefs if you normally wear boxer shorts get yourself a, a few pairs of briefs to keep everything tucked up nicer and uh, it helps with the swelling apparently so I switched to the briefs a few days ago and, and my swelling's gone down. Whether that's a coincidence or it is down to the briefs, I don't know, but the swelling's gone down, so it hasn't done them any harm, put it that way. Uh, and it is more comfortable because, um, yeah, they, they shave you all down there as well. So when that starts growing back, it tends to be itchy. And, and when you, it, your scrotum starts rubbing on your legs as you walk, if you're wearing boxer shorts, you, that's really uncomfortable and itchy as well so the the briefs help with that uh what else uh, people have asked me about um i think it's about covered i mean the main the main questions and the main things people have been mentioning is is the pain level and and the swelling of the testicles um obviously people are worried about it um but no need to worry about it all perfectly normal guys i'm telling you I've checked out loads of forums, watched loads of videos myself, um, spoke to the doctors. I've got a, a very, very good friend of my wife is um, is a surgeon that carries out this type of surgery in a private hospital. So, and she said to me that, it, that it's all perfectly normal as well. So it's definitely nothing to worry about unless unless these symptoms persist or your swelling keeps getting bigger. But if it keeps getting bigger, obviously you know you use your loaf. You got to you got to have a word with somebody in them. In the medical profession but if your swelling is um, stabilized and it's not hurting I mean this this swelling shouldn't really hurt you might have a heavy feeling because obviously you scrub some double the size of it normally is it you love sort of like a heavy sensation like you like you're carrying some extra around in there but um, yeah um, but like I say I'm, I'm back to normal walking the dog now and I've got a golden retriever I'll show you her there look she's flat out at the minute but she's not always like that. <laughs> That's just because I've took, brought her back from a walk. And when she goes for a walk, she pulls about a fair bit. And even that's not hurting me. So, like I said, other than lifting, I'm pretty much doing everything else uh, back to normal. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give you another update in a week's time. Oh, yeah, somebody mentioned uh, about stabbing pains. Um, you get stabbing pains where the wound is. Yeah, I have noticed a couple of them, but they literally last about a second. You, you all of a sudden, just out of the blue, ooh, it's like it's like someone's pressed on it where you where your wound is, and um, apparently that's normal as well. It's just as um, especially with mesh repairs, as, as the your your flesh is knitting around that mesh, which is actually going to make the repair really strong when it's when it's fully healed six to eight weeks in, when your all your flesh is healed around that mesh and firmed up really nice that's what's going to prevent this from happening again but during this period um, you can get a few stabbing pains apparently nerve endings there and uh, stuff like that it's just totally normal it's not unbearable it's just they catch you by surprise that's all it is you're not thinking about it and all of a sudden it feels like someone's just poked their finger right in your wound <laughs> but um, 
Yeah. Uh, if I think of anything else, or I'll answer some more of your questions if I can um, when I post my next video. That'll probably be roughly another week on. I'm going to try and do one weekly now. There's no point doing one every day because um, now two weeks in, there's not going to be much change tomorrow from today, really. You know, I'm, I'm doing pretty much everything, like I said, already. Uh, I'm just going to give you an update next week if, if I've started um, being able to lift anything more or if, if there's been any complications since, if the stabbing pains have got worse or anything like that. I'm going to update on that. So, um, yeah, check back um, for my later videos. And... Uh, I shall see you all then then guys, take care.